Gavin, uh, CHL Rookie of the Year, just what does that honor mean to you? Yeah, it's good for sure. Um, it's, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, there's lots of big names that have won that award before. So to kind of be in the same conversation as those guys and win an award just like they did, it's pretty cool. How much of your teammates helped contribute to, uh, you know, you winning this award? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, to go to the rink every single day with those guys and, you know, work to get better every single day and just be with those guys. You know, they've taught me a lot uh, this year and, um, yeah, they've done uh, so much for me uh, without, you know, my line mates and stuff. It wouldn't be possible. A little further than that, too, what has head coach Willie Dayhardin contributed to your success? Yeah, he's an unreal coach. Um, he's uh, He's been through it all. So, you know, he's taught me so much. Um, you know, he's gave me opportunities um, from early on there. And, uh, yeah, he's just kind of guided me through all of it. And, uh, you know, lots of credit to him. He's uh, such a great person and great coach. Things are certainly on, on the rise of Medicine Hat. Just already how much you're looking forward to next season. Yeah, you know, we had a young team this year, and I think we shocked quite a few people um, with how good we did. But, uh, you know, everyone's getting older now, so I think, you know, we're making a run for it this year, and uh, it's super exciting. Does being here this week sort of motivate you to see the atmosphere at the Mem Cup and sort of look to push for that next year? Yeah, for sure. Um, just seeing how fun it is here um, and, you know, seeing how hard uh, these guys play, it kind of motivates you and, you know, you kind of want to learn as much as you can while you're here. So, you know, when the time comes that, you know, hopefully you can you can perform and stuff. So, yeah, being here brings lots of motivation and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it next year. How did your 15-year-old year getting some games in help help you this year to be able to win this award? Yeah, it helped a lot for sure. Um, you know, kind of just learning the league and uh, you know getting to get comfortable with the guys um, and the coaching staff and the organization. I think that helps a lot. You know, it makes you kind of feel like you're at home when you're playing. So, um, yeah, it made it a lot easier. Um, and you know, just learning, building chemistry with the guys for sure. Uh, I think chemistry is a big thing in the game. So, you know, if you're building friendships on and off the ice, uh, I think that'll bring some, you know, confidence on the ice. How was the, the experience for you at, at U18s and kind of help be able to kind of, you know, bring that into next year and then also uh, the privilege to be able to wear, you know, Hockey Canada sweater? Yeah, anytime you get to um, represent your country, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing and it's an honor. So to, you know, win the gold medal there, that was just the cherry on top. And, you know, I made lots of new friends uh, from, you know, that tournament and I'll be talking to those guys for the rest of my life. And, uh, yeah, you, I learned a lot from that tournament. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty nice to end the season with a win so you know it brings some motivation in summer and uh, you know going into the next forward in the next season uh, it'll be a fun one yeah I believe you're the first UConn born player to go first overall in the WHL draft does does that mean anything to you yeah for sure I'm uh, super proud of where I came from um, you know the UConn it's a it's a small little uh, city so uh, you know all the support I've gotten there you know I get texts from you know supporters there all the time and you know in the community they've uh, helped sponsor me when I was a little kid to you know kind of fund for my trips and stuff so to kind of do it for the Yukon it's uh, pretty cool and you know Dylan he's obviously from the Yukon as well he's kind of put the the game of hockey um, in a good place in Whitehorse so you know to hopefully follow in his footsteps uh, I think that would be cool for sure. How special has this week been for you to also go, th you know, have a teammate in Caden here uh, to win an award as well to kind of as as friends uh, to be able to share this experience together? Yeah, it's super cool. Like I said, in Medicine Hat, we've built uh, really good friendships there, and to see one of my closest buddies uh, win an award, you know, he's earned it and he had an un unbelievable season. So to see him kind of get some recognition and stuff, uh, it's super exciting and uh, yeah, good for him.